Archaeologists have solved many of the mysteries of the ancient past. However, sometimes the evidence to explain the existence of an ancient structure simply isn't there. How a so-called primitive society with limited technology managed to construct a building that would challenge even modern methods still has experts scratching their heads. As a consequence, the how and why for many ancient structures remains a mystery, and we wouldn't have it any other way. 15 Most Mysterious Ancient Structures in the World Towers of the Himalayas Deep in the valleys and rolling hills that form the Dadu River area in southwestern China, massive, slender towers rise above the trees in stark contrast to the environment around them. Towering over 100 feet into the air, their perplexing attributes stand guard over the unique landscape around them. Today, the area is famed not for its impressive landscape, but by the mysterious construction of what's assumed to be the world's tallest dam and chain-linked footbridge dating all the way back to the Qing Dynasty of ancient China. Between these two impressive landmarks lies the country of Danba, where gorgeous scenery, which has barely changed in the thousands of years since they stood, draws thousands of domestic tourists. The craziest part of all? No one knows who or why these amazing towers were constructed. Other than demonstrating their impressive architectural work, that is, these structures have stood against time in miraculous fashion, dazzling all those that have seen and studied them. In fact, it was in the early 2000s where researchers finally started to survey the land with a purpose to reveal its mysteries. To this day, there are many questions still unanswered, even with all the technology we have at our disposal. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. Nobody knows who built these structures, but if we did, we'd have to let them know what a good job they did. It looks like an underwater city, like a modern-day Atlantis. In case you didn't know, for thousands of years, humans have whispered and wondered about the possibility of entire cities sinking into the ocean. One of the most famous of these lost metropolises, Atlantis, cropped up in conversation thanks to Plato, who claimed that the city had dropped beneath the waves millennia before he even wrote about it. The story of Atlantis is a tantalizing tale, an advanced civilization that went too far in its greed, provoking the wrath of the gods who erased Atlantis from the face of the earth. As to the suggested location of the lost civilization, these have ranged from the Sahara up to the Antarctic and countless places in between. But many people believe it still exists somewhere in the oceans of the world, and there's also belief that it still thrives today, even underwater. Looking at this image, whoever built this underwater city certainly spared no expense. It appears to have many structures that could probably be inhabited by thousands of people. Could you see yourself living here? Comment below using hashtag sweet topic. Gosek Circle Sometimes the ancient world dazzles the modern one, and the Gosek Circle is one such site. The field of wheat in the small German town of Gosek is dotted with precise, circular rows of wooden posts. Their evenness is a testament to the handiwork that went into crafting these things. Also called the Gosek Sub-Observatory, it's been dated to have been created back to the 5th millennium BC. We're talking thousands of years. An impressive accomplishment, especially considering the fact that they used wood, and it still stands most undeteriorated. Sure, it's taken some weather beatings, but even living rooted trees don't last as long as this human-made construction. When archaeologists first excavated the site, they discovered bovine skulls and human skeletons. Because of this, experts have suggested that the area must have been used as some sort of ritualistic burial or sacrifice spot. The site was revealed in 1991, but was first opened to the public in 2005. You're now able to witness the celestial shows the dazzling site puts on. For example, on the winter solstice, the sun rises in perfect alignment with the southeast gate and sets behind the southwest gate. The summer solstice and spring festival are marked by the sun setting in precise gaps in the fence. The precision is testament to our forebears' knowledge of the stars. Gates in the Desert Get this, nearly 400 enigmatic stone structures have been discovered in Saudi Arabia. Experts believe the so-called gates date back thousands of years. A few of them even form wall-like formations that stretch across old lava domes in stunning fashion. Many of the structures, which archaeologists refer to as gates because they resemble field gates from above, were discovered in bunches in the region west-central of Saudi Arabia, dubbed Harat Khaybar. 
Researchers haven't a clue of their purpose or even their age, but agree that they were for a significant purpose of the ancients who built them. They were first discovered through satellite imagery. No one even knew they were there until satellite helped scientists spot them from above. Thus far, there's no obvious explanation to their creation or purpose. The smallest of the gates measure about 43 feet, while the longest around 1,699 feet. These are no small creations. Interestingly enough, the kites, wheels, and other types of stone structures depicted here were typically found to be constructed atop gate-like walls, suggesting that the gates predate stone structures. Were these ancient blueprints for the future of stonework? Possibly. <laughs> Deer stones. Ancient ruins are some of the most fascinating and mysterious things here on Earth. The fact that early humans created these spectacular examples is yet another reason ancient human knowledge eludes us. If they weren't great scribes or didn't jot down things about their society, then odds are modern-day scientists won't have a clue as to their intentions. The Deer Stones are yet another dazzling display of the prowess of ancient humans that far exceeds what anyone could have imagined. Found in the grasslands of northern Mongolia and some in southern Siberia are hundreds of megaliths scattered throughout all of them bearing cryptic carvings that appear to depict flying reindeer. Why would they carve such images? As you know, humans can't create what they can't comprehend, so this inspiration must have struck somehow. Dubbed the Deer Stones, these vertical pillars measure anywhere between 3 to 15 feet tall and always appear in small groups. Experts say the sites often are associated with stone burial mounds called Kirigsur. Thus far, experts have revealed over 900 of the ancient stones in Central Asia and South Siberia, of which a whopping 700 of them in Mongolia. They're believed to have been erected by Bronze Age nomads an impressive 3,000 years ago. The detail is legit. <laughs> mammoth Bone Structure Finding bones of a mammoth is already an impressive achievement, but finding a structure constructed with mammoth bones is unprecedented. That's exactly what they discovered in Russia, to a site that experts claim to be over 25,000 years old. Crazy, right? Thanks to this new archaeological endeavor, scientists have gained a better understanding to how our ancestors managed to survive this desperately cold environment at the climax of the last ice age. Mostly, the construction is still baffling experts, but they're still hard at work determining anything that they can. It was constructed with the bones of approximately 60 mammoths, that's a lot of hunting and gathering for such an ancient people. It was that or perish in the cold. With its discovery, it's now the oldest and largest ever discovered in the area. There have been mammoth houses discovered elsewhere, but none to this scale. This took an overwhelming amount of effort to construct, let alone house. Because it's so large, scientists believe this to be an ancient family or tribe home, so to speak. The combined efforts of the many allowed for its massive construction. Most other places of similar latitudes in Europe had long been abandoned by this time, but miraculously this tribe managed to adapt to find food, shelter, and water during one of the harshest climate challenges that we know of. Their effort is nothing short of extraordinary. Olmec Colossal Heads The enormous impressive stone heads of the ancient Olmec civilization once located on the Gulf Coast of Mexico between 1200 BCE and 400 BCE, are among the most mysterious and debated artifacts from the known ancient world. They're yet another mystery gnawing at the human psyche to be discovered. Who were these amazing sculptors? Thus far, the most agreed upon notion is that thanks to their unique physical features and difficulty and cost it must have run during their creation, they represent the greatest Olmec rulers. The detail is nothing short of stunning, especially when you consider how far back they were created. What kind of tools did they have to accomplish such nuance in their faces? Ancient aliens? Because of this idea, experts believe the ancient humans possessed better tools than first suspected. As of today, 17 heads have been revealed, and each one of them is as stunning as the last. They stand anywhere from 9 to 17 feet in height, making these behemoths one heck of a logistical issue when they were carried away to museums. Imagine trying to lug around rock that large, let alone doing so, so delicately that you don't damage the ancient sculptures. It was one heck of a feat, that's for sure. Puma Punku 
The world famous and ancient Puma Punku is an ancient, stunning, enormous temple that can be located in Bolivia. This magnetic ancient creation is considered part of a larger archaeological site where numerous other discoveries have already been found. The temple's origin remains a mystery, even to this day. Thanks to modern technology in the way of carbon dating, it was revealed that the temple was likely constructed by the Tiwanaku Empire, who was considered one of the most important civilizations and advancement of the human race prior to the Inca Empire. It was said that they thrived between 300 and 1000 AD. Very little is known about these ancients, except the role they played in the establishment of the Incas. The most mysterious part about the creation is its masterful stonework, where even master stone workers today struggle to understand and replicate. It was a terraced earthen mound originally adorned with megalithic blocks, each weighing several tens of tons. These are no pebbles, which begs the question, how in the heck did ancient humans manage to move such enormous stones? The red sandstone and andesite stones from which it was created was cut with such precision that they fit perfectly into lock with one another. No mortar required. The technique we can't replicate today. And the architectural prowess and construction precision leaves even modern scientists stunned. Temple of Holy Frequency Whenever humans unearth some ancient temple, our forebears built in worship of something we can't comprehend, we can't help but feel lost in humans' extensive history. What secret knowledge did these ancients fail to pass on to future generations? This is one of the craziest yet. Buried beneath both rock and time once stood proud the Hepageum, which can be found in Malta. The ancient temple, thus far, is classified as the only prehistoric underground temple. The tales carved and scribed onto its walls speak of a once great and powerful society, one with an incredible secret at its heart. Though we still have no idea what that secret is, experts are meticulously attempting to unravel it. Scientists claim the temple dates back a whopping 3,500 years and to this day stands as one of the most scientifically baffling mysteries of our ancestors. The very structure, down to the foundation itself, constantly resonates at a steady frequency of 111 hertz. It's considered a holy frequency in many places of the world. While this could be just a major coincidence, there are too many coincidences at play here. When studying the same civilization temples elsewhere, their temples rung true to this frequency as well. How in the heck did they manage it not once, not even twice, but multiple times? Experts have no idea how they accomplished this. <laughs> Plane of Jars While they sort of resemble massive, scaled alien eggs from the James Cameron film, they're anything but. What is this huge landscape containing numerous massive jars? Was it a huge storage site for food? The aptly named Plane of Jars is just as it sounds, a plain of land with a collection of enormous stone jars and can be found throughout the Lao Highlands. According to the experts, the jars have been mainly constructed with sedimentary rock and range from 3 to 10 feet in height and can weigh up to a whopping 14 tons each. It's safe to say once these jars were placed, they weren't moving again. So what does one do with immovable jars? These aren't the type of jars you bring with you over to your neighbor's house. When these enormities were constructed, they stayed in place, heck, even to this very day. While the origin of the jars is still a mystery, experts believe that they were used by ancient humans between 1500 and 2000 years ago, thanks to carbon dating technology. That's an extensive period of time for something seemingly as simple as jars to transcend history and time. Many archaeologists suspect that the jars likely served as funeral urns or food storage, just hopefully not both at the same time. They would have stood at a valuable place in society all those years ago if they managed to preserve or keep the dead. Another theory is of the ancient legend which states the jars were created by Kun Chung, the ancient king of giants. It continues on saying that after fighting a year-long vicious battle, the king created the jars to brew massive amounts of Lao rice wine to celebrate his victory on the battlefield. <laughs> Derinkuyu, picture yourself in this person's shoes going through your home renovations plans only to reveal an archaeological discovery unlike anything else ever seen, and your house was connected to it all along. After undergoing extensive home demolitions to make room for the new projects, the owner couldn't put his finger on a constant draft flowing through its entirety. 
Doing his best to follow the breeze to its source, he discovered something that you might see come out of an Indiana Jones film. Initially, he assured what he had discovered was a simple tunnel, but that tunnel led to a room, which led to another room, which opened into a vast, cavernous metropolis of a hidden city. He had stumbled upon the ancient and mysterious city of Dirinkayu. The tunnels and rooms were said to go on and on, with tunnels reaching like veins into hundreds of homes on the surface. All of them had no idea they even existed. This lucky home renovator just happened upon the ancient city, yet it had become one of the most significant finds in the area for quite some time. Just imagine that, for years the residents had all lived there without a clue of its existence. A mere few feet of concrete and dirt set them apart. It's hard to fathom such drastically different worlds separated by so little. What would you do if you took a sledgehammer to a wall to discover an ancient city left behind? Freak out is the least of emotions. Kotsky Pillar When it comes to churches and or temples, they can reflect many things on humans. They can be considered serene, peaceful, terrifying, odd, and many more things. Typically, you'll find these religious buildings near neighborhoods or areas where people can see them often and visit when the mood strikes. You know, the whole flock needs to be tended by the shepherd thing. These familiar church feelings make the Katsuki Pillar, which seems to defy all notions of what it means to be a church, something of an oddity in its class. Many churches are lavish and adorned with gold, marble, and smooth stone, others of wood, and still some of nothing but nature and the surrounding landscape. If you ever find yourself traveling the country lanes of Georgia's most remote regions, you'll likely find signs that point you in the direction of the famed pillar. Follow that path and eventually you'll discover the ancient natural limestone monolith that towers a whopping 130 feet into the sky. Sitting atop that pillar is one of the world's most isolated churches ever discovered. Because of its odd location, it's believed to be one of the most sacred places ever built. No human alone could construct that right? It must be divine intervention. No vehicles, save for a helicopter, could take you up there. That means that that's one heck of a challenging hike ahead of you, so choose to observe this mysterious church wisely. Medicine Wheel As you already know, our ancestors may have been even better at understanding space than we do now. Their archaic yet extremely effective tools and sites that have stood for generations testament to that fact. In fact, many understandings of space and the stars today was built off these ancient notions, some that revolutionized the way we see ourselves in the galaxy and beyond. This mysterious pattern of stones created by Native Americans sits at the summit of the aptly named Medicine Mountain, a whopping 10,000 feet above the Bighorn Range in Wyoming. The site is adorned with heavy snows for most of the year, but the stone configurations every so often reveal itself and purpose in the summer months. The stones are arranged in wheel pattern, about 80 feet diameter and with 28 spokes emanating from a central cairn, which of course give it its wheel-like appearance. The cairn, which is a ring-shaped pile of rocks, is large enough for a human to sit in it. It's surrounded by six other small circles placed along the wheel circumference. Believe it or not, this configuration is not unique to Wyoming. Hundreds of similar stone wheels exist throughout North America and all of them are precise with astrological time-telling. Pluto's Gate Portals and magic were a staple of the ancient world, at least in belief. Pluto's Gate is no exception and was once believed to be the deadly and terrifying portal to the underworld. It's deadly because its tunnels are filled with dangerous vapors that could kill a human within seconds without isolated air support. Aptly named Pluto's Gate, or Plutonian in Greek, the fascinating archaeological site located in southwestern Turkey was first revealed in 2013, after experts followed the route of a nearby ancient thermal spring. The site matches closely the description of the temple to the underground world that disappeared in the 6th century, and with skepticism and belief in magic at the time, it's no wonder it was considered a portal. All those that tempted to traverse shared a similar fate, one in death and the belief they passed on to the underworld. This isn't an uncommon belief for the time, as ancient Greeks and Egyptians had many similar tales of their own resembling this attribute of the tale. Of course, at the same time, they don't understand that deadly vapors leak from the earth and fill man-made tunnels with hazardous gases. 
Nilometer. As we all know, the ancient Egyptians are perhaps the most advanced and genius of ancient humans to date. That isn't to detract from what many of the others have accomplished across the globe, but their innate and meticulous nature of documenting history led to what we call recorded history. Yep, ancient Egypt was the first to come up with the idea, and it served the purpose of humans far greater than they ever could have imagined. Perhaps not since there are still many mysteries surrounding the ancients and technology that we still fail to understand. Since the Nile was such a vital part of the thriving of ancient Egyptian society, they developed a tool, dubbed the Nilometer, which allowed them to better predict the behavior of the river. Examples of this tech can still be seen in Egypt today. Three different versions have emerged. The simplest and first to form was a tall column housed in a submerged stone structure called a stilling well. The well included a staircase so that priests, who were in charge of monitoring the meters, could walk down and examine the column and see just how much the river had gained or evaporated. This genius invention has gone forward into today's society. Sigura The impressive and daunting Sigiriya Rock Fortress can be located in the Matali district near Dambula. It was originally constructed by King Kasyapa in the 5th century AD and represented the royal citadel in the area for nearly two decades. You can see why just by taking a close look at it. The palace was constructed on top of a flat rock and comes equipped with a stunning terrace, a majestic mirror wall, and even spectacular water gardens to rival even the most legendary and well-known heritage sites around the globe. This place was built to last and it's testament to the workers and architects' ingenuity, even today. Archaeologists and architects alike say its construction constitutes a unique architectural feat of the ancient Sinhalese thought impossible at the time and still a hard time believing today. Even though the daunting fortress couldn't save its king in the end, it still stands as one of the earliest preserved examples of ancient urban planning to date and draws eyes far and wide to its magical allure. It appears the ancients were far greater at constructing than modern humans could have ever imagined. Ancient humans were far better at technology, architecture, and astrology than any of us could have ever imagined. That's saying something, since evidence is continuing to pop up of their incredible feats. For a long time, we believed their methods to be archaic, but the mysteries and conundrums still present today is testament to their knowledge of a different kind. What did our ancestors know that we lost in translation? All in all, it demonstrates the long and genius existence of human beings and the magic that can be accomplished with the collective mind. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.